It doesn't take much to find a massive online multiplayer game nowadays. Whether it's your typical MMO, FPS, or sandbox survival, you can find your community in either the new or the old. Here are the top 7. What started as something akin to an experiment has now grossed $20 million per month despite being free to play. Hearthstone is an online strategy card game in which players battle with several spells, heroes, underlings, and items from the lore of World of Warcraft. With more than 5 million active players, they help keep the game afloat with new expansive packs and customizable decks. And speaking of World of Warcraft, the 2004 MMO remains strong, and as one of the original games where you create a character, grind a hellish amount of time, and participate in raids, it should be respected as such. And I mean that as a compliment. With the newest pre-expansion patch, The Shattering of Azeroth, releasing on April 30th, the game seems to have no intention of stopping. Its 1.6 million players playing daily as of last year supports that. The free-to-play and accessible Apex Legends, released in 2019, has a staggering 15 million weekly players in this 2v2 or 3v3 squad battle royale. A nice, sizable arena that shrinks over time is pretty much the norm amongst battle royales, but hey, hover cars, and numerous characters with unique abilities that aid your teammates and inhibit other squads. Among this was a surprise to many, not just in the sense of being a popular game of deception, but also because it single-handedly changed the meaning of the phrase and many other words. It's gotten better though, I think. Released in 2018 and reaching a peak of 60 million daily players two years later, it now has mods to enhance the experience, custom game modes, proximity chat, and new hats, and not to mention the newer roles added by the developers themselves. Another free-to-play battle royale is the one and only Fortnite. Released two years prior to Apex, Fortnite took the world by storm as a third-person competitive shooter. Who would've thought a game that initially started with a pay-to-play, four-player co-op tower defense would develop into a massive, free, competitive game that collabs with popular media through skins and other cosmetics. With an average of 80 million active players a month, modes like Zero Build allow players to skip straight to the battle without any hassle, so it's accessible for the average player and not the architect. Before Valorant, there was League, and before League, there seemed to be less toxicity in the world. But it's not as though League died out due to Valorant. No, in fact, League of Legends now has over 117 million active accounts battling with each other in teams of 5 to destroy the other team's nexus. A roster of 168 champions and counting to choose from based on your personal preference, lore, abilities, or role. The dopamine hit you get from this game can be addicting, so it's no wonder why everyone says they have one more game in them. If we're gonna talk about sandbox games, who could forget about the original? Minecraft just has something to it. Whether it's a peaceful, non-stressful survival world, hopping onto a server with friends to play in competitive mini-games, enhancing the single-player experience through mods, taking the time and dedication to build extravagant structures, or doing whatever, really. It makes sense that the long-standing game has an average of 140 million monthly players. 